Hi there! Welcome to the new episode of Am I Cool Enough to Pull It Off? I hope you're doing great and I'm very happy to see you here. I have a little espresso here because we are going to be trying to pull off Sabrina Carpenter's look. I can't really drink it though. So the idea of the series is to pick some well-known personality and create an outfit inspired by their style. Sabrina's fashion is all about trendy silhouettes, vibrant colors and playfully modern looks, I would say. She previously said that fashion is a form of self-expression and you need to feel confident in what you are wearing. I guess her mini dresses are pretty much staple for her, at least for her stage looks. Most of them are done by this cool Ukrainian brand, which does a lot of uh, cutouts in the dresses as well, and they think the card cutout is one of her staples. Here are key elements that I'd like to incorporate. First is playful but modern feel. Second is mini skirt or mini dress, but it's not gonna be as mini as she wears them. And lastly, we are gonna try to incorporate some fun cutout, maybe a heart on the top. And yeah, we are going for this playful, girly, just chill, look this time and i'm very excited about it let's start with our first step creating an outfit and this time it's going to be different so <laughs> a little bit of a mix up we are not going to go to the thrift store but we are going to go through my giant pile of fabrics Ta -da! So here is my giant pile of fabrics. We are gonna try to pick something from here and I already have something in mind. I like this fabric with the stars and I'm thinking that that's gonna be our main fabric for the project. It has this feel to it, similar to the slip dress and I'm thinking that that's the vibe that I'm going for. Let's try to use this, but also maybe we will use bits of this fabric, um, which is our white with golden dots fabric that I thrifted for the Harry Styles look. And also somewhere here. Oh no, it's not here. I think I have a pile, different pile of fabric somewhere else. Let me see. So yes, I do have also this fabric. I'm thinking if I wanna use this or that mesh that I got, this one, all scrunched up unfortunately, but anyways so this pile of fabric is what we are working with and i'm thinking that it would be a skirt and the top and i don't have exactly plan for the top yet but i have a plan for the skirt for the skirt i kind of want to use this elastic as a waistband i've never done that and i think it could be pretty fun and i'm gonna use this fabric for the main fabric for the skirt but underneath i'm gonna try to make another layer of the skirt and also maybe be very very gathered and that's gonna be like an underskirt poking through the bottom of my main skirt it's a couple days later and i'm continuing with my project i haven't made any progress yet I have this little skirt, uh, which I really, really like. It's super cute and it fits really well. I'm planning to use it for my little pattern and I'm gonna show you it on. Here is my little skirt on. I think it fits super well. I really like this skirt. So I'm gonna use kind of like a shape of it. I'm also planning to incorporate little pockets, but it's not gonna be as fancy as this. I'm just gonna do little size seam pockets. Let's try. So the skirt is now attached on the side seams and I cut already my elastic and I'm planning to attach it to the skirt. I'm planning to pin it in four places. So this is, I'm folding it in half. So this should be on the side seam, this should be on the side seam and I will pin the middles as well. So I'm kind of understanding where I'm at and I'm gonna attach this straight to the skirt with a zigzag stitch pulling while I sew a little bit. I'm not 100% sure that's correct technique, but I'm gonna try that. So this is how my little skirt looks now. This is from the back. It has little pockets and elastic on the waistband. I think I really like it. 
A few moments later. I think the skirt is fine, but it's not really fine. I hate how I touched the elastic. I also don't really like the shape. I think it should be a bit looser and the pockets are too small. I'm gonna redo it. I think it's best if I redo it. Let's redo it. So the skirt is done and I think it turned out much better than the previous version. The pockets, the pockets are usable, which is great news. So I can put my whole arm in here, <laughs> which is nice. And I like the length, so I'm gonna leave the skirt for now. And I'm gonna work on the top and I think I'm gonna do like this tube. So it's gonna go around here and I'm gonna put elastic on the top so it stays on the top and on the bottom it's just gonna be loose but i'm gonna do some sort of corset contraption on the back so it stays kind of tight around me and then we are gonna maybe try to do the cutout in the middle but it's getting pretty late so i'm gonna continue tomorrow so it's the next day and i'm continuing to work on my top i already made some progress so i created this giant pillowcase it's basically like a rectangle connected into a circle and it is goes around my head i tried it already and i'm planning to make this corset detailing on the back so basically i'm gonna use this elastic string and put little loops like this put little loops on the back on two sides and then we are gonna be able to pull it together wish me luck i'm gonna try that I'm done with the top. Here how it looks like from the front and here is from the back. You can tie this kind of even tighter and this is pretty secure. I'm keeping the pin here because I might still do the hard cutout here on the front, but I'm not gonna do that now. I'm gonna focus on the mesh stuff. For the skirt, I'm thinking that I'm gonna use the mesh that's over there, this mesh, and I'm gonna make it so the skirt starts here so the mesh starts up here and then goes into skirt i just don't know how much of this should i use it's gonna be pretty simple it's just gonna be like elastic waist and then skirt so i don't know how should i make this so i'm sitting here playing with it instead I'm done with my mesh skirt and this is how it looks like. I think it looks super cool. <laughs> you can put it on top or underneath. If you put it underneath, it kind of just picks through under there, which is also really cool. I'm gonna show you. This is how it looks like if you put the skirt underneath. And I think I prefer the first option better. Let me know in the comments what you think. So what I'm gonna do now is cut a little hard here and I'm gonna hand stitch it all around it, I think. And I also wanna do something very cool with socks. So I have these white socks. These are just plain white socks. And I noticed that Sabrina wears socks with little lace detailing around them. I think I'm gonna use this fabric, cut two strings, gather them and attach them to the socks. It should look super cute. And I'm also thinking if I should do a little headband or like, um, just a little ribbon of the same material as this to put in the hair so that's the plan the heart the socks and the ribbon i'm gonna start with the socks i'm just gonna use this bit of lace that i found and not the fabric that i showed you i'm gonna cut bits of it and i'm just gonna gather it by hand i guess i'm not gonna really do the gathering stitch so i'm just gonna straight attach it to this gathering it along the way. I don't know if that's gonna work, <laughs> but let's try. I'm not gonna cut it yet, but I'm gonna straight try to stitch it here and then see what happens. I 
I think the socks turned out super cool. Here they are. I don't know if you can see them. My tip for you is to stretch the sock a little bit if you're gonna make this. Because the second sock, I stretched it a little bit while sewing and then it turned out better because I can put it on easily. First one, not so much, but I still can put it on and I think they look super cool. So now it's time for the cutout and I'm super nervous that I'm gonna ruin everything. But I've drawn this little heart here. Um, I'm super scared to cut into this, but I'm just gonna do it. Here is my little cutout heart. I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. <laughs> but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hand stitch all over it with the black thread. It's gonna take me time. And that's it. I don't think I'm gonna do anything else today. I'm done with everything else and I'm gonna assemble the outfit tomorrow. I'm gonna show you. Ta-da! So here is the finished look. I added little heart and um, I hand stitched all around it and added little pink beads that I have still from previous episode. And I think this turned out really fun. I think this looks really playful in a way. The whole time I was making this outfit, I was really worried that it's not gonna turn out good, but I think it turned out really good. And I really like the socks. I think the socks add a little nice touch to this. I would definitely wear the skirt out and maybe this upper skirt as well, but I'm not too sure about the top. <laughs> I think it's a little bit out of my comfort zone, but other than that, I really enjoyed this project. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. Stay inspired and see you soon.